Okay, this is uh, just a story about uh, belief in the illusion. Uh, how people can get pretty stuck in the illusion and not uh, not see their way out of it. Uh, we were on Maui uh, probably close to 20 years ago, maybe a little bit more. Mia was a baby. And uh, we were staying in some corporate housing kind of, vacation housing, it was furnished and everything. We got home from dinner and noticed that uh, it was leaking, the inside of the apartment was leaking and we checked everything and diagnosed that it was coming up. There were two floor flat apartments like they have in Maui uh, from the apartment above us and so Robert Waters, Nicole, myself and some other people went up and knocked on the door and knocked on the door and knocked on the door uh, to see what was going on, to see what, where the water was coming from, because it obviously was coming from above us. We didn't know whether it was further above us, but we needed to get into this apartment. We knew that. And uh, after pounding on the door, uh, <laughs> the door opened, and there was probably uh, like four inches of water that came pouring out, like a small river. Uh, and the man behind it uh, had shorts on, no shirt, uh, was uh, pretty obese. He was pretty fat. And it looked like you could see he had stepped off a platform. There, there, it went through the house on white shag carpeting. And then there was a platform up about eight inches where you stepped up. And, and uh, he and his wife were sitting up there. And they were pretty stoned on it. Probably, my guess, was uh, prescription drugs and alcohol. There were tumblers of alcohol. And they were, uh, I think in for their evening high, which was condoned and legal and things like that. But we open the door, and the water is rushing past his bare feet. And he looks at us, and he said, um, if you weren't here, this wouldn't be happening. And he closed the door. Closed the door on us, just uh, closed the door, said, if, this, if you weren't here, this wouldn't be happening. And... So we stood there, and we banged and banged and banged and banged and banged on the door. It took us another probably 10, 15 minutes to get his attention again, to get him, okay, we are here, and this is real, and it is happening, and you do have water. And finally, they had to get the management in and everything. But this guy was apparently chemically out in a, such an altered state of awareness that he thought that he was in a dream and that we are part of the dream, and it had become a very bad dream. And if we went away, so would all this water in his apartment. Uh, I look at life, we're not far off from the illusion. The illusion is complete. The illusion uh, keeps us captivated. I want to talk about that, how it keeps us captivated. Uh, but have a fun day. This was just one of those rambling, ranting sort of uh, uh, speaks that I do. Uh, www.micpeakperformance.com